General Loki's one eye gleamed as he stared down at the astrosaurs. I control the meteors that attacked your ship. Living meteors filled with incredible energy. They looked into your heads and brought your dreams to life. He rubbed his cruel claws together with glee. And now those dream creatures are coming to get you! Could it be true? Tegs murmured. Good dreams and bad dreams all tangled up with real life? It's true, all right, Loki gloated. The meteor's powers have plunged you into a living nightmare, and there is nowhere to run. Suddenly, a loud thump echoed from around the corner. It sounded like a huge sack of slime had been thrown to the floor. Thump! There it was again, louder this time, followed by a throaty, bad-tempered roar. Wait a moment. Tex narrowed his eyes as the loudest thump yet shook the floor. I've heard that sound somewhere before. So have I. Iggy gasped. <gasps> it was back on the planet Creepus. <gasps> Tex looked at him in alarm. Don't tell me someone has dreamt about that thing. A moment later, a horrifying monster hopped into sight. It was a huge red spiky ball with a gaping mouth crammed with white teeth. A big pink muscly arm ending in a fist sprouted from its top. The monster had just one phenomenal foot with 16 spindly toes. And on the end of every toe, there was a bloodshot red eyeball staring round with hatred. Bless my horns, cried Arx. What is that brute? Loki's pet, said Tegs grimly. It's a craggle scruncher, one of the deadliest creatures in the universe. Suddenly, the Craggle Scruncher spat a blistering ball of white flame straight at the Astrosaurs. Desperately, Tegs shoved his friends aside. The fireball blazed past, missing the gang by millimetres, and scorched the wall behind them. Run! Tegs shouted. The Astrosaurs sprinted away like contestants in the Great Dinosaur Games. They dashed down dozens of corridors. Can't we hide somewhere till the Craggle Scruncher goes past? Arx panted. Not a chance, said Tegs. Now it's got our scent, it'll never stop hunting us. Thump, 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 went the cradle scruncher behind them. The astrosaurs sped off again, straight into the path of a humongous mop and a sponge the size of a bus. Oof, Tegs yelled as the mop's white raggedy end knocked him aside. The sponge splashed him with water and then both objects whisked away out of sight. Iggy helped Tegs to his feet. I wonder if the cleaner dreamed up those things. Tegs nodded gravely. I wonder what else we'll bump into. The Craggle Scruncher roared in the distance, and the Astrosaurs ran off yet again. But the dream things seemed determined to slow them down. A fierce flock of butterflies made of newspaper flapped into their faces. A spotty pink squid tried to trip them with its tentacles. They even had to pick their way through a dense forest made out of smelly cheese. But as they rounded a corner, an enormous ball of squishy, quivering dung squelched into sight. Its black and brown bulk filled the corridor from floor to ceiling, and its stink poisoned the air. Great galaxies! Tiggs clutched his throat as, without warning, the dung monster spat a huge pile of steaming dung at Arx and Gypsy. They jumped aside just in time. It will smother us all! Gypsy groaned. There's no way past! Thump! They could hear the Craggle Scruncher hopping up the stairs behind them. <laughs> Ahead of them, the deadly dung ball rolled ever closer. Uh-oh. Mark swallowed hard. Now we're trapped! <laughs>